Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. We can use a Tor browser to browse the surface net, the internet. We can also use a Tor browser to get into the dark net. Today, I will show you how to get the dark net and browse some sites. To get actual privacy protection, I use my VPN services before I start my Tor browser. VPN prevents any Tor node from seeing my home IP address. If you don't have VPN, it's okay. You can simply launch your Tor browser. Once I connect the internet with my Tor browser, the landing page is DuckDuckGo, the default Tor search engine. Darknet websites are not searchable. Instead of .com or .org, dark web addresses use top-level domain .arni. You can use .go to search for normal websites that provide the list of arni sites, the dark websites. I type in the keywords hidden wiki. To search for the hiddenwiki.org website, enter. Here you are. The hiddenwiki.org keeps and updates some of the darknet websites. You can access the website by any browser, Chrome or Firefox. But when you click on these earning links, only Tor browser works. Just like the surface net, the internet, the dark net is a collective of websites such as news, online stores, forums, games, etc. There are, of course, many illegal websites like sites for selling drugs. You see, there's many drug stores and other illegal commercial links and activities. That's why dark net. Has gained very bad, notorious reputation. The truth is, any technology can be used for evil doing. Going to browse the dark net in general is not breaking any laws. Just as you browse the surface net, you have to be very careful. The rule of thumb: if you don't know what it is. And don't click on it. Just like what you do over the internet, the key here is to use the common sense. If something is illegal in the real world, it will be illegal on the darknet too. I suggest you do some research on the darknet sites before you click on any link. Let me click this link,、uh, ProPublica. ProPublica promotes independent journalism and try to be a media for those who dare to challenge abuse of power or corruption. You see some current news and reports just like a news website. In 2010, ProPublica became the first online news source to win the Pulitzer Prize. Actually, many media maintain their hidden websites. On the dark net, including BBC and New York Times, Facebook has a dark net version. Please allow me to get back to the hidden wiki page. Let me check the Imperial Library. Wow, there's a lot of categories. Let me try mystery because I like the mystery kind of books. There's about a Fourteen hundred books found on the mystery, and you can browse them page by page to find a book you like to read online. Let me go back to the the index page to find another category.、Um, uh, this time, how about the classics? Well, again, there's a lot of books. Let me、um, get back and type in keywords to search for a specific book, like 
uh, you can negotiate anything by um, Herb Cohen. Herb Cohen. I heard this is a good book, and I plan to buy it from from some bookstores like Amazon. <laughs> Here you are. Uh, I don't suggest downloading the whole book for at least two reasons. One is copyright is a legal issue. Two um, is technical issue, and you must use some kind of a special um, setup to download and read the whole book. And let me just read the first page to see uh, if it's worth buying it. And it's just like old way of buying books in Barnes and Noble. And you read some pages of book, you like it, and then you buy it. I'm missing the Barnes and Noble back in Atlanta, Georgia, many years ago. If you, uh, if you feel curious and explore more uh, about the dark websites, and you will find many amazing things, and some are useful, some. Kind of scary. Some is illegal. I strongly suggest you do some research before you go、um, to the dark net. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.